So I'm out here on state land, kicking my butt, looking for bedding, looking for bug bedding, but I found a better here, I think it's a doe bed. I was following the tracks and I found it, finally. A doe bed, it's tiny, I assume. I don't, I've walked quite a bit, I sunk my boot in the water and got my leg wet, so I kind of want to go back now, but only found one rub. I should have took a video of it, but one rub, and it wasn't that big either. It was decent, but not big. And I, that's what I found. Fresh rubs, I mean. I try to look for bucks, but it's hard. Buck sign, but it's hard, because these deer are state land, and they're hunting a lot, I think. I found, like, four stands here. And in spots where I thought, man, there's no should be no stands around here. And I look, there's one right there, you know, it's just... So anyway, the road's over there. It's really, really swampy in here. So yeah, I'm looking for more, and hopefully I get more sign here. So, I'm on state land right now. And look at all this sign. This is a field. In Stateland, it's after season. It's January. It's late January. I walked in the parking lot. There's freaking deer sign everywhere. Look at this highway. And it goes. All the way over there. And the thing is, that Stateland over there is a wood lot. So what they're doing is they're moving from one wood lot to the other. And this place gets hunted like crazy. So I don't know if they're smart now that they cross daytime or they're doing all this at night still. But there's a lot of deer sign and it just snowed last night or yesterday. So I don't know how much it snowed here though, but it did snow. So there's a lot of fresh sign. Deer eating in the field over here, all over the place, and the other field over there. So I'm gonna go in and look for deer beds, maybe hopefully find some rubs from this year or from last season to figure out where the bucks are hanging out. This is promising though, a lot of deer sign for state land. It, it's a lot around here, I think. I mean, other state lands don't definitely don't have as much deer sign as this place does. So yeah, so there's this deer island, there's this island right here. It's kind of like an island, I guess, on a field, big rock pile, huge tree. It's overlooking the field where the entrance of Stateland is, so there's hunters, they have to walk down, they have to walk through there to get to the woods on this side. And deer bed, deer bed, deer bed, deer bed. And there looks like there's one over there too, but it looks like does to me, but it says there's snow in them. It must have been yesterday night maybe, or yesterday afternoon. There's freaking deer tracks all over, so. Yep, they're on this side, just looking over the field. Well, near the entrance here. I'm gonna go over there and see what's going on, see if there's anything. There's a little strip through the woods right here. I'm gonna carry on. More examples. Look at all this. I got the edge of this. There's staining corn. I don't know what the heck's going on with this, but it's freaking crazy. There's blood in this grass over here or something. It's tearing it up. Some autumn olive or something. This the island's a pretty big piece, so I need to go walk through it. But I found a lot of beds in, in the strip of woods right there. A lot of beds, but they're all does, I think. Some keep going. There's a deer bed right here. I think there's like one over there, but right here. The first fresh rub from this year. I found an old rub from like a few years ago, but this one. It's about, it's in the middle, just over knee height in the middle, so. That's a nicer rub. But it's nothing special, I don't think. Right at the edge of this autumn olive. Right here. This buck's probably dead, but hey.
back here. There's like a little oval field and there's a strip of autumn olive. And then there's this switch. I think it's switch grass. Look at all the switch grass. Someone planted this. DNR must have planted it. It's pretty sweet actually. And yes, this is state land still. It goes east quite a ways, but switch grass. Then it looks like another row of some autumn olive and there's staining corn. This is nice. I like this. They like they wanted to make the deer come in. They probably did this with pheasants too. But the deer definitely like this switch the cover. So yeah. Well, <clears throat> I found this. There's beds all over in here. There's mixed pines and autumn olive with near the corn. There's a swamp over there, and there is beds all over. It's not even funny. I'm sure Buck's bed here, but. Also, a yellow marker over there, and I'm pretty far back in. I mean, not too far from the road, but it's kind of far to walk. But yeah, there's hunters, of course. So I don't know how many people hunt back in here during season, but they have before, obviously. Because there's stuff like this land here. I'll have to be careful to see if I can. I've only found a few rubs, but most of them are small, so it's kind of tough to tell where the bucks are at. And I haven't really been seeing any big buck tracks or anything, so. Yeah, I'll just have to keep on going, hope I find something. I was hoping to find a shed. It'd be really nice if I found a shed, but I haven't. So, I'm in the swamp. And... I like these lone pines because I think they're always a good spot. I mean, in this spot, it definitely has an old bed that's off the ground so it's dry. And there's a little bowl over here. So I think this is a spot for a deer bed. I've heard you come up here with that here. Looks like maybe a buck rubbed down a little bit back a long time ago. But I'm certain this is a buck bed at some point. Or a doe bed. I, you know, I found a few doe beds over there too. You know, it's, just, it's rough right now. There's not. There's a lot of tracks, but they're a few days old in the swampy areas. But I can't find any rubs from this year. I find old rubs from years past, but not from this year. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm not looking in the right spot. But I could go closer to the oak ridge. There's a bunch of oaks on the hill over there but I find no reason for it because I mean this is where the deer are going to be coming from so I'm just going to walking paralleling it just trying to find rubs and then if I can find some rubs then maybe I can find where a buck would bed at or something but it's pretty tough right now it's like there's a north people north wind right now so it's blowing my face right now, but so it's cold, but nobody else is out here, so that's good. Oh, I think I seen a rub. I think there's a rub over there. I'm gonna go look at it right now. It looks like a fresh one actually, so I'm gonna go look at it. Okay, so here's the rub I was just talking about. I think it's from last season. I might be sitting in a, feeling in a bed or something maybe. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But I definitely walked over a few beds actually. I definitely did on the way here, over here. So that's a good sign. So maybe there's one still alive. I can go back further and I might go back further and see if I can find another one about that size. It's not a big deer obviously, but it's a good sign. So. Yeah. No, would you look at that? Way back in here. I'm pretty far in here. No, not close to any roads or anything. What? Obviously, it's frozen over. It's January. It's cold. But 
ladder stand. That sucker's sticking out too. There's a pink, there's a pink little strip right there. I don't know where they're coming from to hike up this thing, but I gotta give them credit because they drugged this thing all the way out here. Oh, the deer right there. Look at that. Look at that. I just kicked a deer up. That thing let me get pretty close too. I don't know if that's bad. It was just bad right there. But anyway, well, yeah, look at that thing. It doesn't look like it's very freaking safe. I mean, it's. I don't know if they're hunting out of it or not. It's pretty sturdy, actually. They got that stuff down there. Okay, I have to let this deer back. I just, just don't. I think it looks like a doe just jumped up. Just right here. Yep, she was just right here. Interesting. So she was, her back was facing me because the wind is coming, the wind is coming from the north. She was lying just right here. She was laying right here. Looking that way. Pretty random actually. Kind of random spot. It's not really on the high spot. But that log was blocking her view I think. Right next to that ladder stand too. <laughs> that was cool. That was the first one I jumped today. Way out here in this swamp. So yeah. Lesson learned. They're not afraid to do. They're not afraid to bet right next to the ladder stands I guess. If they know nobody's hunting out of them. But like I said. North wind, the deer was facing south, southish. It's, it's wet right now because she was warm and she was laying in it. She wasn't laying in it that long, obviously, because it's not. She actually, she walked in, bedded, and then when I scared her, she ran back out that way. You could tell by the tracks. She walked in the bed there and she ran that way because I scared her out. There's no tracks. There's no tracks around here. Interesting. So. Right over there is a platform. That's someone made with a ladder. Looks like it's made for a pop-up line to go on it. So that's interesting, way out here. There's no trespassing sign, even though I'm on state land and there's a, a cone right there. I don't get why that's there, because it's state land. And that's on state land. I am your private, it's over there. I kid I kind of cornered the private, I cornered the private land. But I wasn't on it. I don't know why there's no trespassing, it's kind of weird. That random cone, but... These poor deer get hunted from everywhere. They get no break. I don't know if people actually hunt back here very much, but they're signed, so... They had, they did at some point, obviously. Look at that. There's some tracks. There's something, there's something living in there. Looks like a fox. I don't want to put my hand in there. That's not very smart. But there's, actually, there's tracks right here. And then there's something going in there. So that's interesting. But anyway. Yeah. That's part here. And these state lands get kind of crazy. There's still a lot of deer stuff in this way. You guys not might. You may not believe me, but I just kicked up like 15 deer, and I don't know, there was those that came from over here, and I came over to look where they're at, and they ran, I didn't realize, but there's there's deer over here, so I don't know if they're the same group or not, and I don't know if they were bedded, or if they were just out eating right now, but they were at the edge of these oaks, and I kicked up <coughs> multiple bucks and, multi and a lot of does, one of them was a 10 point. I'm pretty sure it was a 10 point buck and it wasn't, I mean, for around here it's a nice buck. It wasn't like crazy big, but it was, it was a 10 point 
in a decent sized tie, so. I mean, it was probably 120s, I'd say. I didn't see how tall the brows were, and I only seen one side. I only seen one side, and I didn't see the brows, so I don't know for sure. But, you know, it's, they're running, they're trotting through the woods. You know, my binos, I had a hard time telling. But I definitely kicked up a decent buck, especially for state lander in Michigan. That's a nice buck. And some other small bucks, I couldn't tell, but... So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over there where I saw him and I'm gonna see if I can get eyes on him over the hill. And then if I don't, or if I do, if I'll look at him. If I don't, I might backtrack and see where they came from. <clears throat> this is the end of my scouting trip out here. I get tired of walking around, you know. But I'm gonna see, that was kind of nice to see that, especially a nice buck that I would have shot. On state land, you know, maybe not at my place. Depends if it was at my place where I live at. But for state land, not too far from home, I think this is a freaking shooter. <laughs> so I'll go over there and look. Yeah, there is some deer sign, but not a ton. But obviously they were out moving around or something. I don't know. I, I don't know if they were bedded though. That's the question. Were they bedded over there, or were they just eating, and I just happened to sneak up on them? So, I just scared some of does. I'm walking back to the vehicle right now, but some does are out here. I don't know if they were eating or what, but the deer that I scared walking to the Oak Ridge, I saw them again. They were really far out. They kind of made a circle and circled around. They ran out to the Oak Ridge and ran, and then they circled right around, and then they went back to the swamp. And that's what had to happen, and they were all together still. Um, I saw up some bucks, but they were tiny. I don't know if the buck I saw was in there, or if I just saw I saw something bigger than what it was. So, anyway, because that buck is memorable. So, anyway. There's at least one decent buck hanging around. If you're better there. Behind the house, there's a house over there. There's still stay there. But anyway. Yeah, there's some bucks. There's like four or five bucks, I think, total. And like I said, the biggest one, I think, was it in the... I didn't see it, so... It's freaking cold out. So I'm gonna go back. I might come back to the state land another time. Head jank. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching. My phone's about to die. And uh, I'm, I'm just trying to learn. I'm just trying to learn, you know? About scouting. I'm not the best at it. I'm just trying to figure out what, how deer I act and what they do and whatnot. And I'm just making a video to help me and maybe to help others who live in. Michigan, in the middle of Michigan, and not state land, I'm not the best. I've never been to state land before, but I'm just trying to figure out if I, if I was, what property I'd, what section I'd hunt, because I want to get a nice buck. But there's not a lot of bucks I, well, I can tell two spots I've hunt to. Not, not bigger bucks at least. Never remember big bucks, just small bucks. And that buck I saw today was the biggest one I've seen in state line. So, yeah. Well, I'm gonna make another video. I might not. So, thank you for watching.